Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining some of the basics that will be used into a metrology for a linear measurements. So let us start with the introduction. So in case of the linear measurements, basically this kind of measurement of perpendicular distance between two points or you can say two surfaces. So that will be depends upon my object. So design either for the line measurement or you can say it will be also used for a end measurements. So that will be applies to the measurement of the length, height, diameters, thickness, radius. So whatever it may be concerned according to the shape of the object. So it will be look like as a length, height or diameters, whatever. So it will be directly measured or sometimes it will be indirectly measured. So in the case of the line measuring instruments, basically consist of the series of accurately spaced pointed or marked lines onto them. Or you can say in simple way, graduations, it will be mark onto the instruments so in the case of the linear measuring instruments so the classifications based on to the methods of the measurement so first direct measuring instrument so in case of a uh, direct measuring instruments the with the help of instrument and object you should take a direct reading because all that increments it will be marked onto the instruments. Secondly, indirect measuring instrument. So in that case of the indirect measuring, it will be measured or you can say relative measurements. So let us see in details of it. So after measuring instrument that will be further classified graduated instruments. So basically that will be in the category of direct measuring instruments so it will be look like as a engineering steel rules then vernier calipers vernier height gauges vernier depth gauge micrometers dial indicators and many more are there so by the application of these all measuring instrument so it gives the direct reading from the object or from the observations Secondly, non-graduated instruments. So in that case, the various kind of calipers like inside caliper, outside calipers. So that will be used to measuring the diameter of the shaft onto the lathe machines or you can say work in process. Then sometimes it will be the wire gauges are there, screw piece gauges are there, radius gauges, thickness gauges, slip gauges, filler gauges. So these all are the standard gauges are available or you can say instruments are available for indirect kind of measurements. So that will be also depends upon my applications. So that will be the first category graduated instruments. So let us see one by one. So this is my vernier caliper. So just you can see the numbering or you can say graduations it will be marked onto the main scale as well as onto the vernier scale so these two scales it will be having a some combinations with the least count of these instruments so that will be directly give the indications of your measurement so this is my object so it will be placed between the two joes and according to its adjustment with main scale vernier scale and adjusting of the vernier scale reading so you can make a accurate as well as the precise measurements. Second instruments, just you can see this is my micrometer. So similar way, the graduations, it will be onto the thimble as well as onto the main scale. And according to the least count of these instruments, it will be having a measurement or you can say direct measurement. So this is my height gauge to measure the height of any kind of object. So similar, it will be also use a main scale as well as the vernier scale kind of principles for the measurement. This is a depth gauge. Similarly, 
for this all kind of instruments the graduations it will be marked onto the any of the skills either it will be main skill either it will be one year skill now i will talk about a uh, non graduated instruments so just you can see these all are there so these all are the calipers outside calipers inside calipers are there so basically if some components it will be fixed onto the lathe machines or any kind of machines and if you want to measure the diameter either it will be inside or outside so you should make a in contact of these two jaws and directly these two jaws it will be onto the scales so the end point of these two jaws of the calipers it will be physically with contact with a land standard or can say scales so that will be gives the indirect kind of measurements so this is for the inside diameter measurement this is for the outer diameter measurements and that will be depends upon my various applications so this is more flexible but as compared to with a uh, direct measurements it will be having a lower accuracy right secondly this is my wire gauge so these all slots it will be available for the different standard dimensions of the wire so once our wire it will be passing into this so it will be gives the instrument regarding to your measurement of your wire diameters right so this is the one kind of indirect kind of measurements if that wire it will be passing through this so it indication is over here so there is no need to measurement for the wire diameter with the help of any kind of vernier caliper or micrometers so this gauge it will be gives indirect reading and that will be having a accurate this is the screw gauge are there so if you want to measure the pitch of the threads so you can directly attach onto the thread and if you measure so that will be also one kind of indirect kind of measurements or you can say non graduated instruments are available for the different kind of measurements so in case of the linear measurings once again the classification based on accuracy that can be obtained by the measurements so non precision type of instruments are there and in the case of that non precision types of instruments so basically the accuracy that will be depends upon the least count of an instruments so in the case of the non precision type it will be the steel rule is there calipers dividers depth gauge telescopic gauge so most of the case that will be the indirect kind of measurements is being concerned secondly precision type of instruments so that will be including the vernier caliper vernier height gauge vernier depth gauge micrometer slip gauge so all standard instruments are there with the graduations are there so that all considering as a precision type of instruments so just you can see here it will be the indication of the all the instruments so digital vernier calipers are there then dial indicator kind of calipers are there then some calipers or dial indicator some of the gauges and these all instruments are basically used for direct kind of measurements then steel rule so just you can see this is the one of the examples how you can use this so this is engineering steel rules and just you can see this is my table so workpiece that will be resting onto the tables and steel rule it will be adjusting with the one of the age of the workpiece so as we already discussing into the previous one of the video that will be the number of errors it will be found into the measurements so for removing or can say reducing such kind of parallax error so you should take a reading into the exactly right angles of this so this is the one of the methodologies for taking the readings so into the measurements the scale that will be in physical contact with the one of the surface of the workpiece so this is the right methodology to taking a readings and just you can see into the figure number a this is the wrong practice during the measurements 
So this is a right practice. It will be having a physical contact, whatever the measurement is there. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share. Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much.